Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my FB page Dr. Srinivas Concepts. This is Dr. Srinivas, Neurologist from Rajmandri, Andhra Pradesh, India. My email is sriklpm at gmail.com. I am the medical author of the two books Focus Neurology and Exam Oriented Clinical Neurology. Today we are going to talk about a very important topic, the CT Angiography. CT Angiography Neuroimaging Concepts Part 5 CT Angiography CT Angiography CT Angiography requires contrast administration through a process called digital subtraction the soft tissue can be eliminated from the image leaving only the contrast enhanced vasculature to be visible Therefore, we give a contrast into the blood vessel and the contrast flows to the blood vessel. The surrounding soft tissues can be eliminated from the image, leaving only the contrast enhanced vasculature to be visible. So, we get a clear picture of the vessels of the brain in this sequence CT angiography. So, CT angiography requires contrast administration through a process called digital subtraction. The soft tissues can be eliminated from the image, leaving only the contrast enhanced vasculature to be visible. But angiography carries certain small risks. The overall morbidity from the procedure is approximately 2.5%, mainly in the form of worsening of a pre-existing vascular lesion or from the complication at the site of artery puncture. So here you can see this is the MCA. You can see on the other side the MCA is going well. You can see all the MCA, the main stem, the branch is well here. But on this side if you see the MCA is occluded. There is an occlusion of a branch of the MCA. So this is the CT angiography where a contrast is given in the blood vessels. The soft tissues are suppressed and you can see the well the contrast and the contrast vessels. So here you can see the MCA is well seen here but here there is an occlusion of the MCA. So when we see, follow up with the unenhanced, unenhanced CT scan, so there is a occlusion of MCA here and it is it has resulted in a large hypodense area of edema with blurring of grey and white matter areas. This is the left MCA infarction. It is because of the occlusion of the MCA territory which is well picked up by CT angiography. There is a blurring of the grey and white matter. You, here you can see the well seen the grey matter and here the white matter. But here the grey matter, white matter, the distinction is lost. There is blurring because of the cytotoxic edema. The distinction has become blurred. So this is the MCA infarct which has, which has been resulted from the occlusion of the MCA vessel. So again same thing here. This is the CT venography. Here you can see there is no contrast on the sigmoid sinus and no contrast in the superior sagittal sinus. So this is the straight sinus, this is the internal cerebral veins. So here again it is because it is a cortical vein thrombosis well picked up by CT venography. So the other important uh, topics of clinical neurology, I put it in a book called Exam Oriented Clinical Neurology written by me Dr. S. Srinivas. If interested this book could be purchased. This will be very useful for students appearing for the clinical neurology exam. The other book I have written is Focused Neurology written by me Dr. S. Srinivas published by CBS Publishers and Distributors. This book contains all the essential concepts of neurology which will be very useful for oral exams. This book is available online from all leading booksellers including Amazon. So, if interested, this book could be purchased online. If you have uh, liked this video, please like and share the link. 
but uh, please do subscribe to my youtube channel dr srinivas medical concept which is india's leading neurology educational youtube channel so please subscribe to my youtube channel dr srinivas medical concepts and my web page dr srinivas concepts thank you bye